Hello, friends. Okay, I'm gonna share this really quickly and then we'll get started. So one moment, but go ahead and take this time to go ahead and click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner and share it to your wall so you can watch it on the replay later if you miss any parts of it. And share. Thank you so much. Okay, hello, hi guys. All right, so I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So everything you're about to see me do to my mother, you can find here at rayahopebeauty.com. I'm gonna pin it right there. Did it pin? Yes, okay, cool. Good morning, how are you ladies? So today's makeup tutorial, as you see, I already have my makeup done. Um, it's gonna be on my mom, so you can come sit down. <sighs> Say hello. Good morning. So this is my mom, Lisa. I'm sure you see her on all of my lives, supportive mom of the year. And um, why don't you just tell them like about your skin? Um, oh. Okay, it's old. Oh, jeez, it's not old. <laughs> it's mature. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I've got lots of fine lines, wrinkles, crazy pores, um, dry in some places, um, oily in others, so I'm just kind of a variety of um, challenges. Okay, so, perfect. Good luck. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna have you turn like a little bit. Just position this so they can see and I can see. Okay, so um, today I'm gonna be doing probably a little more makeup than she's used to because I wanna show you guys, I wanna prove to you guys that <laughs> she can wear my routine also. I get the messages and the comments that's too much makeup for this 50 year old, false. I'm gonna show you, prove you that she can too wear full coverage, flawless, finish, everything. Um, but I will also be chatting throughout the tutorial about what she could also do and what like her normal routine would be um, on a more everyday realistic basis. And then um, after this live, we're gonna pop off and we're gonna hop right back on and I'm gonna do her hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use the wand um, by launch. So be sure to stick around for that. Um, and we'll get started. Hello, hi guys. <laughs> Shared. And just so you know, I. I can't see that far to read any of your comments. So <laughs> <laughs> I need my glasses. Yes. So oh, thank you. Just be nice, please. Be so sure. if you, um, she does oh. wear glasses. So I'm going to show you guys how she can wear her glasses with her makeup look too. All right. So we're going to get started. So today we're going to be using um, this combo right here. This is the Liquid Touch Foundation and the BB Flaws Complexion Enhancer. So this is the shade Honey. And this is the shade Chiffon, which matches her. So she was actually the one to teach me this little routine because this foundation is a little more um, of a watery consistency and more fuller coverage. And then this one is a thicker consistency and less coverage. So when you mix them together, it equals out to a really perfect consistency and an incredible hydrating yet full matte coverage. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And as always, if you guys have not yet done so, be sure to message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. So when you're using the liquid touch, you're gonna squeeze the top and you're gonna shake the bottle and you kinda wanna be intentional with how you're shaking it. You wanna hear it like, I don't know if you guys can hear that actually, but you're gonna want to like hear it kind of release from the bottle and shake. So be sure that you're doing that step before you um, use it. And then same with the BB Flawless, you're gonna wanna shake that up because these products are mineral based. They have a tendency to separate while they're just like sitting. So be sure to shake it up um, or else you're gonna get a little bit more of that oily consistency that comes out first, which you want in the product. So I don't want you to think like, oh, gross, oils, but because it's actually really good for your skin. And this makeup, this foundation actually has a property in it that helps uh, the, it helps slow the process or the visual process of aging. So, bonus. <laughs> All right, so with the Liquid Touch Foundation, we're gonna take it. So again, this is the shade Honey. And then we're gonna use it on top of the powder concealer brush and we're gonna squirt a little bit on top of that, about that much. And then we're gonna go in, here you can pin up your hair. And then we're gonna go with the Liquid Touch Foundation and squirt this right on top of that. And we're gonna always start with a little 
and then we'll start to build. So what I like to do, as always, is just kind of dot it around the face, and then we're just going to start basically like painting. <laughs> You're just going to paint it on your skin, doesn't need any rhyme or reason besides don't get it in your hair, and you're just going to get that product on there and also on the eyelids, all over, hide your lips. And do you see how it's already hiding her? She has like redness on her nose and this completely hides it. It starts to already cover any of her discolorations, any of the sunspots. And it starts to just really give her like already a flawless complexion. So we're going to always, always, always bring it down the neck because even if it's a perfect match, it's not going to be a perfect match if you're not blending it down the neck. So as you see, that was about two, maybe one drop of the liquid touch with just a little dollop of the BB Flawless. So we're going to go in with a little bit more. So again, same routine. A little bit of the BB Flawless right there. And then... A little bit of the liquid touch right on top. And again, this is the shade Chiffon in the liquid. Look at me. And the shade Honey in the BB Flawless. So we started on that side, so we'll start on this side. And then look up for me all the way like, like that, yeah. Because you want to get it right underneath the eyes to start hiding any dark circles. <laughs> you know, they've actually gotten a lot better on you been using my serum. Okay, and then relax your forehead. So we have hereditary dark circles, thanks grandma. Mm -hmm. um, and so she uses the same skincare regimen that I do, and which is the rose water, the uplift beauty serum, and the uology serum with the boosters brightening, firming, and glow. Hide your lips again. And that really, really, really makes that huge difference on how um, bright and just amazing your under eyes look so if you guys struggle with that too if you have dark circles definitely message me and I can give you that regimen shared I have really bad redness so as you see Mine you is. can kind of get closer so as you see look at how already how like even her skin looks can't hardly see any of that redness and now we're going to even make it a little more smooth we're just going to add a little bit of the BB flawless just like that just for the sake of using the blending buds so she does have redness and it tends to get like darker throughout or brighter throughout the day. So we definitely make sure that we're using the blending buds for this. And this is going to start compacting the makeup into place and really get it into those fine lines, those pores, the, what do they call the Pinocchio lines around the mouth. This is going to make it look so much more smooth. I'm only going to do one side of her face so you guys can begin to see that difference. Close your eyes. Uh, close your eyes like this, like wide. Yeah. So that's a little tip when you're doing your eyes to kind of open them up to get um, a lot of those fine lines and wrinkles to open. Okay, and relax your forehead. So basically you just wanna like ease your face of the lines while you're applying this because that's gonna like compact it in rather than if you're making a squinty face and you're putting, on a, putting it on, then when you relax your face, you're essentially just, you didn't put any foundation in those lines. Okay, now look up all the way. Yes, same thing with your under eye. And the blending buds really allow you to kind of get like up in there rather than just buffing it on top. And see how I'm just kind of, I'm going, I'm mixing around my technique. I'm either patting or I'm kind of rubbing, but you're either way, you're kind of like stippling, stippling, I can never say that word, <laughs> into place. So just from one side versus the other, this side looks so much more smooth, even around her cheek, around her uh, laugh lines versus this side. You can still see some of those lines. You can see some of the pores. You can see some of the discoloration. And this side is completely smooth and flawless. Isn't that amazing? Hallelujah. Okay, let me see this side. And then we're just gonna do the same thing and always bring it to like the ear and then always bring it down the neck. And that's really gonna hide any redness that surrounds the face. And it's also just gonna make it look much more smooth. Close your eyes uh, tight. Yeah. And then always smooth it, get it all up in there, and then look up all the way. Just like that. Around the nose, and then relax the forehead. Just like so. Okay, so now we are fully covered. So now we're gonna increase the coverage, and we're gonna go in with the Skin Perfecting Concealer, and she uses the shade, wait, you use the shade Chiffon? You should use a shade taffeta. 
I don't know if I have that out here. Maybe I grabbed the wrong one. It's okay. We'll just use this one. So typically, good. especially for women her age, going down in one shade in the Skin Perfecting Concealer would be very flattering on your skin because it's going to brighten up your under eye, giving you a more youthful appearance. So she's using the same shade in the concealer, mother, but it's okay. So this will do. This will still give you flawless coverage. It's not gonna, it's just not gonna be very brightening on your under eye, but some people prefer that. So as you see, I squirted a little bit on top of my finger and as always, we're just going to massage it in between our fingers to warm it up. And then we're just going to tap this on the under eye in that area and keeping in that V shape that I always tell you guys about, just like so. And then if you have any other redness or any other discoloration, so again, she gets a lot of redness on her nose. So we'll just pop a little bit of concealer mm -hmm. on top of that. My mosquito bite. You, it's covered. You can't see it now? No. Oh, cool. Yeah. See how nice? I had a big old mosquito <laughs> bite there. All right, now open your eyes like that. Open, yep. And now we're going to go with the smaller blending bud. And you guys, these are so, so, so crucial, especially if you have a lot of fine lines, wrinkles, or large pores to apply your foundation with. It applies it so incredibly streakless and so smooth. It really, really makes a huge difference on how the makeup looks when you're done. Am I blocking you guys? Okay, good. And then you're gonna wanna go all the way up underneath the underline of your eyelash. And then always bring it around the eye and then look up again. And my mom also has hooded eyes, so when we get to the eyeshadow, we'll cover on how to apply your eyeshadow to still be able to see it and, be, and have it like be complimentary to your eyes. All right, so now she's fully covered. Now we're gonna set everything so everything stays amazing all day. So, this is the setting powder. This is what it normally looks like. So it comes with this mesh plate. I just like took mine off. So this is, gives you guys a good kind of idea of the difference. So this is what it normally comes like. So if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, this will actually be perfect. So what you're gonna wanna do with this step is you're gonna wanna take like a small tapered brush like this. This one's by Stolazi. This is a Highlight 509 brush. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna just tap it into that setting powder, grab some of that product on there, and then now you're gonna look up all the way. And we're just going to set her under eye with this. Again, using that mesh plate, it's gonna make sure that we're not using too much product and overload her face with too much powder. And it's also just going to start to begin to mattify her under eye, and she gets naturally really oily like in the under eye area and then in her T-zone. So this is going to absorb any of that natural oil. So instead of making her concealer crease or making her uh, foundation look oily or greasy, it's gonna absorb into this product and prevent that. So we're just going to lightly dust, relax your forehead, onto the T-zone. And as you see, I'm kind of just pushing it into that mesh plate like that. And we're just pushing it on to the foundation. You can already see, close your eyes and then make them like tighter like I showed you. Nope, <laughs> yep, like this, yeah, just like that. And then if you have fine lines on your eyes, this will also help to set those before they begin to set in. So just like so. All right, so now that we've used our Touch Bowl Translucent Setting Powder, now as always, we're just gonna lightly dust any residue away because we don't want too much product on there. We just want it to very finely set and absorb any of that natural oil. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna close mine so we don't spill it. Okay, so now that we've done that, this is another option that you can do. So this is a Mineral Touch pressed powder and we're gonna use a lighter shade, which is taffeta for her. And we're gonna take a blending bud and just like I do in my under eyes, we're gonna tap it in that product. And now we're gonna go right underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna have you look up again. And we're just gonna push this on the under eye. And this is also going to kind of seal up any of those fine lines that think that they are gonna have their way today. <laughs> so pushing it underneath that area is going to prevent it. And then she has these laugh lines that so just relax your face. Kind of make it tight like, um, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to joke. Stop smiling, that's not helping. Yes, there you go. The grumpy. The grumpy. <laughs> so we're gonna just push it in these laugh line area and that's going to kind of set that area as well. So any of those fine lines, you're just gonna kind of set it. All right, so now that we've looked grumpy and we've set it, now we'll just dust any of those away. And now we're gonna set the entire face to make it look flawless all day. And this will also help to mattify it and just give her fuller coverage. So excited you're doing this. Yay, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this.
You do powder just like that. Awesome. <laughs> Your mom is beautiful. Aww. Yes, she is. Thank you. Um, powder this looks dry so drying to me. So Gloria, um, what is going to really matter for you guys is the pre-makeup routine, which I also did on her. So we went in with our Touch Bold setting spray and then that we also used the Gloria Space Primer. So we used both of those on her skin before we put on makeup. So that really, really helps because she's um, it's going to kind of give an even surface for the foundation to sit on top of. She also, when she washed her face this morning, she used the rose water. That's adding moisture to her skin. So those three things before you put on your makeup, rose water, setting spray, primer, really make a huge difference. Um, such a sweet, beautiful mama. Are you sure you're not sisters? You guys are so funny. Spray first, then primer. Yes, Kelly. So you're going to do spray, primer, spray. Like, shared, and saved. Yay, awesome. Okay, so now we're going to take the um, Mineral Touch Press Powder. So this normally comes with a plate also, but I just like popped mine off. <laughs> take some off. So just tap it in there because it like gets in the way. I'm like, move out of my way, plate. So we're going to tap it on to this big kabuki brush. And then now we're just going to tap it all over the skin. And we're going to kind of blend it down the neck so it matches perfectly. So why I really love this kabuki brush, like especially for mature skin is it's dusting it on very, very evenly and very lightly. So it's applying it very airbrushed instead of like chunky. And then close, and then I'm gonna have you open and look up again. Yeah. And then we're just gonna take this all over, especially around the areas that we didn't use any setting powder, hide your lips, because it's gonna set that area for me. And then relax. <laughs> Am I beating the crap out of you? All right. Just great. Now I'll have you like kind of get closer so they can see the coverage. So this is the coverage. So she's going to look a little washed out and a little pale until we contour, highlight, and add blush. But I want you guys to look at that coverage. Oh, so good. <laughs> no more redness, no more sunspots, no more acne scars, no more sunspots. No like all gone. She looks like a perfect, even airbrush finish. Ta -da. Perfect. That's you are perfect. <laughs> so again, so what we've used so far is the Liquid Touch and the BB Flawless mixed together. We used our Skin Perfecting Concealer on her under eyes, and then we set it all with the Touch Behold Setting Powder and our Pressed Powder. And this was in the same shade as her uh, foundation. This was Chiffon. You should use Pressed Powder. Yes, the Pressed Powder really makes a big difference. When do you get that big brush? So message me for the link to the brush. That's like not, that's that's like, this is not a unique product, but message me and I gave you the link to it. Yeah, doesn't it look super flawless? No, she, I haven't done her eyebrows yet. I love your mom. Oh, I thought, Aww. first I, I thought it said I love your mouth. I was oh. like, oh, okay. <laughs> <Not mine. laughs> I'm so glad you're doing this. Yay, awesome, came on late. Yes, definitely be able, be sure to share this on your wall so you can catch the replay later. All right, so now we're going to use our Beach from Bronzer. We're going to use the shade Hermosa on her. And we're going to use the Tapered Blusher Brush. This really, really, really makes a huge difference for contouring, especially if you want something that looks natural-ish. Natural, because natural, makeup's not natural. All right, so we're going to tap it in the bronzer. Always swirl on the cap, and then you're going to tap it off. And then you're going to go from, I'll have you turn, look at the wall so they can see. Um, you're going to go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. That's kind of the idea of where you're going to want to pop the contour. And you can always make that fishy face exactly to figure out where that hollow is. See this area right there? So I'm going to have her make that funny face. And then we're going to start at the top of the ear. And then you're going to very lightly just dust this horizontally first, if you guys can see. <laughs> and then you're going to turn it vertically. And then you're just going to very lightly dust. This is going to start to give her complexion. It's gonna make her look not so washed out and it's gonna um, exaggerate her cheekbones to really bring up that area. So now look at the camera face on. You already see that difference where it's starting to taper in versus this side and she doesn't look so washed out on this side versus this. I look more skinny on this side. Yes, you do. <laughs> so same thing on the other side. And now I normally do my contour very bold, but for her, we're not gonna do it that bold. <laughs> so just lightly dusting and then swirl. And you could even do it even lighter than this using a, a lighter shade. So this is the shade Sun, or I'm sorry, this is the shade Hermosa, but she can use the shade Sunset, which is even lighter. So around the jawline, we're gonna find it that's like right underneath the ear and then just around this area, just like that. So if you begin to have that skin that kind of 
droops over, we begin to start losing that really sharp jawline. This is going to help kind of bring that back and give the illusion that our jawline isn't drooping. It's there. It's looking sharp. <laughs> so just around that jawline. So again, <laughs> underneath the ear and you stop about where you stopped with the contour. So right in this area there. Now for the forehead, same thing. We swirled it into the cap and then swirled it or sorry, we tapped it into the product, swirled it into the cap, and now we're just going to dust this along her hairline, doing little, little swirls just like this. And this is going to begin to pop the center of her face forward. It's also going to begin to make the foundation look not so pale, not so washed out. All right, so same thing for the nose. So my mom kind of has a more rounder nose than I do. So we're gonna squeeze and just kind of focus that contour just on like the flare, like the nostrils right here. And that's gonna make it look a little more thinner. Just like that. It's also gonna hide any redness that thinks it's gonna pop through today. So just like that. So now contoured. See how it's already beginning to really come together? Not so washed out. Really, really makes that difference. All right, so now let's add blush, which is really gonna make her pop. So now we're gonna take this color right here, which is the pressed blush in the shade Sisterly. This one is so stunning on every complexion I've ever seen it on, every age. So you're gonna take your uh, Ingold blush brush, you're gonna tap it in there, swirl it into the cap, and then I'm gonna have you smile. And we're gonna pop this on the apple of the cheek, sticking closer to the contour, and just tap this on working up to the hairline. And same thing, tap, and then same thing over here, smile, and then mm -hmm. apple of the cheek working to the hairline. See how I'm kind of twisting it? for her face shape. So we started this way because she has a larger cheek and then we twist it horizontally to start working it up so it thins out. Okay, now you can look at the camera. <laughs> and that really, see how that really brings her cheekbones up, makes her look like she's not washed out. No zombies here today. And it really starts to complement her skin. Isn't that incredible? Rebecca, <laughs> we both are like, <laughs> I can't see with it. Need um, Texas Indy my makeup, hot mama. Yes, you guys, you can do this at home. She does this at home. You can do it. And she, not to call you out, but she was a tomboy. She had no idea how to do any makeup at all until I started selling Unique. Yep. And she is, she looks like this on her own. She can do this. These products are so user friendly. As long as you have the tutorials, which I give you, you have the products, which are right here, rayahopebeauty.com. You can do this. You can. How do you save to your wall? So you're gonna, Julie, you're gonna uh, click the share button. It should be in your bottom left hand corner. You can click share and you can select where you post it. You can also, if you haven't done so, there's three little dots up here. You can click those dots and you can sign up for live notifications. So you will be alerted when I go live next. And I do tips and tricks like this all the time. So click the three dots up here and then you're gonna select live, turn on live notifications. So make sure you guys do that today if you haven't. All right, so now we're gonna take the Touch of the Mode Luminizer. This is just a fancy word for a highlight in the shade Lustrious. So like I always tell you guys, this is so perfect for every, every age, every skin type, because it's just so soft on the skin. So we're gonna highlight in the same exact areas that I do, which is, I'm gonna have you smile again, the highest parts of your cheekbone in this area. And then I kind of go over where we put the blush as well. So highest parts just in this area on the highest parts of those cheekbones, really gonna bring it up and just complement her skin, making her look really dewy, making her look really glowy, just like that. So very subtle, not too bright. We went a little more softer than I normally do on my skin, just because, you know, she doesn't mean to be looking full glam going to Walmart. <laughs> or the Just don't tell them where I'm going, they'll stalk me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love your love videos. Oh, thanks, Julie. You're not taking me to lunch? Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> you might have to after this. Way to call me good. out, guys. I look good. Okay, so now we're going to do her eyebrows. So, okay, so now I'm going to brush them out a little bit. Just to brush any foundation that got out of there. Or got in there because if we didn't do this your your brow products are just gonna be working that much harder now I'm gonna have you look just like you were just like that the camera's fine and I'm going to brush out her eyelashes very softly like this this is going to prep her eyelashes for mascara and really just help the mascara do its job looking longer more beautiful all right so now for eyebrows we're gonna use the brow liner in the shade uh, medium for this and we're gonna start here I didn't bring my thing. It's okay. This one works too. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start here where she has the brow hair and we're going to just very lightly etch until we get to the arch. 
Once we get to the arch, then we're gonna start working down throughout the tail. And I'm using a very light hand on her because I want it to look really natural. I don't want her to be walking around looking like she's, you know, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> With these drawn on eyebrows. But we want something more subtle, but we still want it to frame her face and really open up her eyes. Because when we do this step, it actually gives the illusion that we have more room for eyeshadow. So we're gonna be pulling that hair upward and then throughout it. So not only is it gonna make it appear that she has more of an arch as well, it's gonna give us some extra room for eyeshadow. Just like that. Just like that. And then what you can do too, is you can use a spoolie side, which is what we're gonna do because we want it to look a little more natural. And we're just gonna kind of pull upward in this front area and just throughout it. See how that really lightens it up. See how it looks like she has so much more room on this side of her eye versus this side and it makes her eyes look more wider on the, no, wider. <laughs> Not worth I was trying to make them wide. But. Yeah, but isn't that amazing? Really frames her face and brings it together. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. And you can go even lighter than this. You don't have to even have it this dark or this dramatic. So if you're wanting it to just frame your face, you can even go down in a shade. I'm using the shade medium on her because she has like darker hair, but you can use the shade light just to get the effect going without the color. But you can always message me and I can give you a recommendation on what to get. This is also gonna elongate her eyebrows. She doesn't have any brow hair over here, which is totally fine. Doesn't naturally grow there, but we're going to give the illusion that it does. And throughout it, it's gonna make your eyebrows look much more full too. And here in the front. And when we're doing it again, we're using a super, super light hand. It doesn't need to look super dark and harsh. Light, lighter the better. All right, and then we're gonna take that spoolie side and just kind of comb through, soften it up, make it look even more natural. And then you can look at the camera. Ta-da! And we, look, we went a little lighter on this side, so I'm just gonna comb through. So they match really well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys are being nice, right? Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're always nice. I'm lucky I have good followers. They just wait till you're not live to yeah. say anything. things. So. I, I don't have as tough skin I'm as just, you do. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay. We only get the mean ones on the, on the hair wives. No. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Looks great. Yes, if you have blonde eyebrows, you'll use the, the light one. I think your mom's face will look less droopy on the gel if, you, if the red blush brand of color were not there instead. So I, would dis I respectfully disagree. <laughs> only because if we didn't do the blush, the blush brings up the area rather than using a no blush or a red blush, which would look very harsh against her skin, that would bring down the area, but instead we used it to bring up her cheekbones rather than just leave them, leaving them how they were. So you can also even take your blush even higher. So we stuck in this area, but you could even move it up a little and then really bring up the jawline. So just another option. Okay, so now that our brows are done, now we're gonna use the Brand new liquid eye la, 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 the brand new liquid eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Reverent. I was telling you guys when I use this, this would be perfect if you have hooded eyes or mature eyes, not only because it's smudge proof, so it's not gonna crease at all on your skin, but it's also going to draw the attention to your eyes, making them look even wider and more wide awake. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the uh, pressed eyeshadow in the shade Astute, which is just this very light brown, and we're gonna use the fluffy crease brush for this. So we're gonna take the fluffy crease brush, which again is amazing if you have hooded eyes, and we're gonna tap it into the shade Astute and swirl it onto the cap to really light, like make it less, and then perfect. And then we're gonna open our eyes really wide, and then you're just going to dust this. See, her, her crease, you guys can see this? Her crease goes right here, right above. So most hooded eyes is like right in the eye so what we're doing is we're taking that and we are bringing it up so i'm actually going above her crease more onto the brow bone swirl and then we'll bring it back down just like that so again think rainbows and then we're going to zigzag through the eye and then i have 
keep opening your eye really wide. So make sure that you're opening your eyes like this rather than relax. Um, close your eyes and relax. So see how it's a little bit harder to define where that crease should go and where the brow bone is? And now open your eyes how you had it. Perfect. See how it really brings it up and it really just lets you know where to put it. So when you are doing your eyeshadow, make sure that you open your eye really wide like that. And do it one eye to like, yeah. <laughs> so show them how you'd be able to do this at home. So like this eye would be open to be able to do this eye. So just make sure you open it like this. <laughs> It takes practice. And I'd be wearing glasses like cockeye. Yeah. <laughs> it's real lovely. Yeah. Okay, so same here. Dusting it in the outside corner. And this is just going to prep your eye, your eyes for the liquid shadow so it just blends really well. And the fluffy crease brush fits absolutely perfectly in this section. So it does all the work for you. All right, so now that we've done that, so again, we want to just do it very lightly and um, let me move that notification very lightly so it doesn't look super harsh. So now we're going to take the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverend, and this is going to be like a champagne -y pink color, which is so, so pretty. We used this on me the other day, and I absolutely loved it. So again, you're going to do tight eyes, and you're not going to open them until I tell you. So you're just going to start here in the center of the eye, and then you're just going to work inward and then outward just like so and take it all the way up to the crease just like this all the way up and then keep your eyes closed and then you're going to use i should have grabbed this before so you're not sitting there with your eyes closed but you're going to take the splurge cream shadow brush and you're just going to very lightly kind of go over that just to make sure it looks very even and no harsh lines so you use this to blend it out and then you just quickly let it dry do you feel it dry? Mm hmm Okay. Tell me when it feels dry. It should be like a second. Okay. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're going to do the other eye. So see how I'm kind of wiping off some of that product? Because we want less is more. And then we'll start here in the center and go all the way to the lash line and then bring it all the way up and over. And now these eyeshadows you can get on sale in this month's Kudos. So if you haven't snagged it yet, definitely grab this color. This is the shade Reverend. Another color that would be really pretty on her type of eyes is the shade Ornate, I believe that's how you say it, and also the shade Business Like. All three of those colors would be stunning on, and they're very different from one another, so you're gonna get a lot of different like eye looks with that. So definitely make sure you snag those. You can also buy them individually underneath eyeshadows. So again, these are the liquid eyeshadows, and that was the shade Reverend. So we're gonna let it dry very quickly. And now these, like I said, are smudge proof and they won't crease. So if you have oily eyelids or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your eyes, and look at the camera, and then you can open your eyes. Let's see how it kind of draws the attention to the eyelids? Isn't that pretty? Really opens up her eyes and makes it look really fresh and inviting and lovely. All right, so now another trick to open up your eyes is eyeliner. So rather than using a black eyeliner, which would kind of make her eyes look even more squinty, what we're gonna do is open them up. So we're gonna use the eyeliner in the shade Pristine, and this is gonna be kind of uncomfortable. Open your eyes, and then just stay still. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna dust this on the actual waterline, which is basically just the line that meets the bottom lashes. So just like that. Same thing on this side. Be a little more comfortable if you're doing this yourself, I'm sure. Okay, and then because I don't want to jab her in the eye, she could also do this herself and then she would push on this upper area and just massage it on top of the top waterline. Or you could even pull up on the eye and then draw on there like that yourself. So that'll also assist with opening up the eyes, but I'm not going to do that to her. <laughs> do it at home. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Yeah. Very nice, I never tried liquid eyeshadows. Yes, liquid eyeshadows are actually really, really amazing, especially if you're you know, 50, 40 plus, because it won't crease, it stays put, which is the main idea. All right, so now we are going to set her makeup and then we're gonna use our mascara. So we're gonna use the Touch Bold Setting Spray, close your eyes, and we're just going to mist this all over. We're gonna go kind of more hog wild with this because this is going to not only close your eyes, it's not only going to prep her lashes for the mascara, but it's also going to take away that makeup y look and just really make it look flawless throughout the day. Also, it's going to minimize the appearance of pores and keep her foundation from really, really settling in her fine lines and wrinkles. So, just fanning. 
just like so. Okay, so now for mascara, we're gonna go in first with the lash primer, which this is going to elongate her eyelashes, and it's also going to, and I'm gonna have you kind of like look down a little bit, but not all the way, so just up a little more until I slip. Look at this, perfect. Now stay, I'm gonna move this hand, but stay there. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously a lot easier when you're doing it on yourself, but we are just gonna go from the base of the lash, and you're just going to wiggle it upward and like i said this is going to elongate her eyelashes making them look fuller and longer but it also has ingredients in it that helps to nourish the eyelashes so making them grow and making them stronger so two birds one stone so this also comes in the kudos so again if you haven't grabbed that yet definitely do so so you can get the lash primer two liquid eyeshadows and the 4d mascara and you get this like purse that looks like a Chanel bag, I swear. It's like such a good dupe. Um, all for, I think it's $80 is the kudos, which again, you can find on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. All right, so now that we have our lash primer on, which again, you can do a little more dramatic yourself and trying to be gentle. And then we're gonna go right in with our 4D mascara, which this is amazing for everyone. One, because it's so easy to use, no more two-part system has gel and fibers infused in it, and it is pretty dang smudge proof, especially when you're pairing it with the lash serum. The lash serum kind of holds onto it for you. And then you're just going to dust this from the top of the lashes all the way up, just like that. Kind of dust it along the tips. Same thing on this side. And it would look a little more dramatic if she was doing this herself, just because it's always easier to put on your own mascara. It's always my weakest skill at putting makeup on other people is mascara. I'm always like, sorry, I'm poking you in the eyeball. So I give it to you makeup artists out there if you could do this really well. <laughs> this is my, my weakness. Sorry, I'm moving. All right, fine. All right, just like that. I'm gonna have you actually look like, and look at, back at my face, yeah. Just want to look older. Okay, now look at the camera. See how it like starts to draw the attention again? It would look a little more bolder if she did it herself, which I'm gonna have her do herself after the live so it looks a little bit better. All right, so now we're gonna do her lips. Have you noticed that I did not actually apply any mascara along the bottom? Because again, applying anything dark to the bottom lash line is gonna begin to shrink your eyes. So if we want it to be like whiter, more wide awake, we're gonna prevent to put anything other than white eyeliner on the bottom line. If you wanna still kind of make it more of a cohesive finished look, what you could do is you could take that astute color that we used in her lash line, and we could use a liner brush. Let me find one. You could use any type of liner brush like this and drag it underneath the bottom lash line to um, make your eyeshadow look a little more cohesive. But for this situation, we're not gonna do that. All right, so now for lips, we're gonna go in with a lip liner in the shade Prudent. And we're just going to line her lips with this. I love this color because it's so natural. It's so light. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line her lips with this and then we're gonna begin to fill them in because this is a smudge proof, creamy lip liner. It's only $15 and it makes your lips look so pouty and actually stays put. And then you stay just like that. And then begin to line it. This is also going to along like a, I was gonna say elongate, which doesn't make sense it prolongs the wear of your lipstick. So if you struggle with having your lipstick stay in place all day, this is gonna actually really, really help because it's gonna hold on to that lipstick for you. It's also gonna prevent it from bleeding into your skin. So if you also struggle with that due to fine lines and wrinkles, this is going to kind of create a wall between the lipstick and the fine lines. So it's not gonna do that either. So very important to make sure that you're lining your lips beforehand. So that was prudent and you can kind of smack your lips a little. And then we're gonna go in with the lipstick in the shade Upscale. This one's one of my favorite colors just cause it's such a good like muted pink. All right, and then pop you up just like that. And then we're just going to dust this on just like so on top. So I usually will just apply it in the center. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my finger, or you could do that. You could, yeah, smack it. And that way it's applying very thinly, so it's more likely to stay in place. Yeah. 
Isn't that such a pretty color? Just like a good neutral soft pink. Pinky nude. <laughs> All right, and she is done. That's the makeup look. Ta-da! <laughs> Marcy, look, I got makeup on now. Yeah, she came over and my daughter goes, where's your makeup? <laughs> you need to put makeup on. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, three-year-olds. Look, I got makeup, love. You wanna see? Is it better? You look like mommy. Oh, uh, you look like mommy? <laughs> Yeah, you can't. So now I can now it's love and yes. not get makeup all over that. Yes, the setting spray also is going to keep that from transferring. Okay, so which is nice. Okay, go back to daddy. So that is the makeup look. So so flawless. So ta da! Same same, but different. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you guys can always message me if you guys need a recommendation or if you have any questions or if you want what I did to her. Um, so now for something a little more natural i think the next time i have her live we'll do something that's more realistic on her everyday basis of running errands and doing whatever the things that she does whatever she's doing all day watching kids yeah watching <laughs> babies so um what i would probably do to her next time which again you'll want to make sure that you sign up for the live notifications up here so you will be alerted next time i go live is we'd probably stick to something more neutral like just the bb cream and impressed powder a little bit of contouring a little bit of blush filling in the eyebrows a little bit in a mascara. Just something very subtle and very easy and quick and fast for her. So again, we'll go over that next time, but I will be popping right back on with her to do her hair. I'm gonna use a wand. So if you've been wanting to see me use a wand or if you have a wand and you wanna be taught how to use it to get really natural but pretty curls in your hair, tune right back on. I'm gonna show you guys the Le Cinq, uh wand and it's also on the biggest sale I've ever seen it on. So make sure that you tune right back in. I'm gonna pop right back on with her to do her hair now. So message me, message me, message me. Um, if you need to be color matched or you need any help and always everything I just used on her is available right here on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. If you have any trouble finding anything on the website or if you have any questions, like I keep saying, just message me. Super easy to do so. You can tap on my face, a little window will pop down. You're gonna tap on my name. It's gonna take you to the profile here on Facebook and you can click the message option. Another option for you if you're like, I don't know how to work Facebook, totally fine. Go to my website, rayahopebeauty.com, scroll to the very bottom. You'll see an option to be able to send me an email that goes directly to my email. Or another option is to be able to just send me a direct email, which my email address, which I actually never give this out and I don't know why, because it goes there anyway, is rayacoleman at yahoo.com. So all one word is my name, Rhea Coleman, C-O-L-E-M-A-N, like the camping gear, like my husband always says. It's all funny is <laughs> Coleman, like the camping gear. Like you're gonna think we like own it or something. <laughs> so Rhea Coleman at yahoo.com. You can message me there also. So I love you guys. I will see you here in like one minute and okay, we'll see you.